Hey guys, and welcome back to Crystal Vlogs Lifestyle. If you are new here, my name is Crystal, and today is Friday. It's time for Friday shenanigans. I'm going to be doing a skit reading part three, the final episode of Under That Pressure with Marcus and Tiffany. If this is something that you would like to listen to, please continue playing this video. Three years have passed by. Bree has a baby that is three years old, and Marcus is still messing around with Tiffany and Bree. Mike and Brad are still fooling around as well. So, you guys, let's get into it. So Marcus is a womanizer. A womanizer is someone who has multiple sexual encounters or relationship with more than one woman on a regular basis. Womanizers may pose as wanting a monogamous relationship, but lie to their partner about who they're seeing on the side. Dang, man, I'm not feeling well. I've been like this for about a couple of weeks off and on. I got to go see a doctor and see what's up, man. Oh, man, I feel bad. Marcus goes to the doctor and get checked. He tells the doctor he is having symptoms like the flu and feeling tired all the time. Marcus reply, hey, doc, I am a very energetic person. This is not like me. The doctor said, well, we're going to test your blood for everything so we can see what's going on with you. Is that okay with you? I'm going to have a nurse come in and drain your blood. So Marcus wraps it up at the doctor and leaves. Before leaving, the nurse tells Marcus, we will call you in two days with the results. Marcus said, OK, thanks. But on his way out the door of the doctor office, he sees Tiffany's husband, Mike, leaving out. Although Tiffany's husband, Mike, don't know who Marcus is, but Marcus does because he's seen pictures of Tiffany's husband in their home. So two days later passed by, Marcus gets a phone call from his doctor. Hey, Marcus, we need you to come in so we can go over your test results. OK, I'll be there in like 10 minutes. Marcus gets to the doctor office. He sits down before the nurse calls him to the back. He goes in the back and the nurse says, hi, Marcus, your test results are back. Did you come here by yourself? Do you have anyone here with you? No, I'm here by myself. Okay, your test results came back that you are HIV positive. Um, we're going to have to start you on some medicine as soon as possible and set you up for your initial appointment in two weeks. At this point, Marcus is so distraught, he don't know what to believe. He's thinking all kind of stuff. Man, I'm going to kill this. When I, man, he just so upset at this point. All kind of thoughts are processing in his head. At this point, the nurse asks Marcus, do you want a copy of your test results? He told her, yes, holding his head down, looking so sad. So Marcus heads home to hide his test results so Bree wouldn't find them. On his way home, he hit up Tiffany and told her, hey, me and you need to talk. Tiffany replied back and said, OK, cool. You can come over. I'm here by myself. Marcus was so frustrated and confused that he forgot to turn his location off. So Marcus leaves the house and then Bree calls him. Hey, baby, I need some money. Look in that box that's next to that book bag in the closet. So Brie looks in the closet. She not only finds the box, she finds a book bag where Marcus stashed his results from the doctor. And she goes in the book bag and reads them. She immediately starts tearing up, crying. Thoughts are running through her head, thinking that she may have it. Possibly their baby could have HIV as well. She is blowing up. She is getting furious. This MF got me messed up. This Negro must think I'm stupid. This Negro must think I'm dumb. Oh, oh my God, when I catch him, I'm going to kill him. 
So Bree tracks Marcus' phone and follows him. She follow him and find out that he's at another person's house. She pulls up in the driveway of Tiffany's home, see that Marcus' car is out there, and she rings the doorbell. Doorbell rings. Marcus says, dang, Tiffany, I thought you said you was going to be at home by yourself. Nobody was coming over. Marcus, chill. You always iffy. It's probably just another delivery. Let me go answer it. So Tiffany goes to the door, doesn't even say who is it because she's thinking it's just another delivery package. She opens the door and immediately she sees Bree. Bree sees her pull her gun out and fire. One to the head, bang. One to the heart, bang. Marcus jumps up, goes to the door, sees that Bree is at the door and Tiffany is on the floor bleeding. Dang, Bree, what you doing? Hold up, hold up. Boom. So Bree kills Tiffany and Marcus. She then gets in her car and drives back home. She called her mother and let her mother know that she just killed Marcus and his side chick that he's been messing around with and that she found out that he was HIV positive. After that, she turns herself in and Bree is in prison for the rest of her life. So Mike did get a phone call and was confirmed that his wife is deceased. So I guess he never did get, really tell her that he was gay and in love with men. The moral of this story is if you are wanting to commit adultery or cheat on your significant other, the best thing to do is sit down and talk with that person and let them know how you are feeling so you both can part ways. Maybe you can fix the issue. If not, part ways because once you start bringing other people into the mix, the story, you know, the plotting and all the lying and the cheating can get really ugly. You may think that cheating and committing adultery is fun, but it's really not. I'm here to tell you, it doesn't fix the problems that you are constantly processing through your mind and going, maybe going through at home. It is only going to make matters worse. In this case, you seen that uh, Bree was not able to accept the fact that her baby father had HIV. So her mental being was destroyed and she went on a rampage. Letting stuff like that get to you can end your life with the blink of an eye. We have to be more safe, more responsible, more accountable for our actions and things that we do. Like if you don't love yourself, why would you love anybody else? Thanks, y'all. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on post notifications so you'll be notified every time I upload another video. I hope you guys enjoy. Peace.